picture here. Up and let you know who's playing and who's doing what. I am. I will admit, I am woefully, woefully unprepared today. This is Brady Knapp up now. He is the catcher for the Blue Devils. Trying to see who our first batter was. I believe it was Isaac Sweet, if I'm looking at this right, from reading their lineup card right. Here's the pitcher. He struck out. Knapp draws a walk. And that will bring up Charlie Fitzpatrick. Little windswept, a little chilly out here. Not like it was yesterday, though. If we'd have been out here yesterday this time, we'd have been in some snow. But now it goes to first. It's safe. Back at first, Nap gets back. I'm a little low. And the pitch. Swing high. Chase that one high. And struck two. I gotta get back in baseball mode. I'm used to doing like soccer and basketball. I gotta get into baseball mode and it's hard to see the, the uh, I think it's 0 oh and 2 is the count, maybe. Chases him back once again. And struck him out. Fitzpatrick goes down swinging. I'm going to try and write down names because I don't think my phone is going to stay charged. Unless we've got an extra plug in somewhere, Michael, I can plug a cord in. Uh, Kobe Lagner up now for the Blue Devils. Nap still on first, courtesy of the walk. Two outs, top of the first inning. Runner goes, throw down. Safe at second base is Brady Knapp. So once again, this is Colby Lagner. Just a little bit of a breeze out here, but not like it was uh, yesterday or even uh, Tuesday when it was it was when it was much warmer. But and that's going to retire the side. So one walk, three strikeouts for Andrew Menard to open things up today for the start of the season. Let me see if I can find my sponsor sheet here. Uh, sponsors are today of the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast, takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Your favorite thing at the diner? Uh, my favorite thing at the diner? I, You know what? I like the meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Mm. I generally pretty much get that every time. I'm a fish sandwich person. Fish sandwich guy? Yeah, I could do that too. I could do that too. So, cats with some uh, different names, different faces. Uh, we got some players down from Crassbury. We got a new coach this year from Crassbury as well. Crassbury Academy alumnus Sean Allen coaching this year. Took over for Spencer Howard. Joe Rivard still on the bench as well, helping with the transformation. We have four players from Crassbury on the team this year with that uh, co op thing they've got going. And yes, chatting with me today, the one and only. Trying to get back into the swing of things, but it is a nice day for an opener. It is. 
I took a nice bike ride this afternoon. Yeah? Yeah, on my lunch break. Where'd you go? Uh, just around like uh, East Callis, Woodbury area. Okay. Nothing too crazy, but um, checking out the... What happened over on Moscow Woods Road? Okay, yeah. After the flood? Yeah. We rebuilt a lot of that. But I don't think you could ask for a better... For a better baseball opener, yeah. weather-wise. Maybe just a, a tad, a tad warmer. No, keep you sharp. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, keep the pain sharp when that ball will hit you in the glove. <laughs> you connect with a bat. I was talking to I work with today. I'm like, it's cold out there. Is it cold weather going to make any effect? He goes, man, he goes, I remember playing a doubleheader on a day like it was yesterday. He said nobody wanted to hit because nobody wanted to, to, you know, you're out there with aluminum bats. And, uh... Leading off for Hazen will be Owen Scorstead, one of the Crossbury players, Arthur. playing today. Arthur. It's just the mic. It's the mic. It's super peaky. Kind of weird today. Not like the gym. So Scorstead in his first bat as a Wildcat. Takes a strike. That went high for a ball. Ball two, pitching for the Blue Devils today is Colby Lagner. Tall, rangy fellow out there on the mound. That went in the dirt, good eye. Count at three and one. Strike two, full counts. Strong came out, swung high. Another Crassbury player, Grayson McNaughton. I guess Scorsese, I don't have Scorsese down as a Crassbury player. Maybe Owen's not. Maybe I had that wrong. Maybe I was looking at McNaughton. McNaughton definitely down from Crassbury. Yeah, I think I remember Scorsese from last year. There's a up, up high, going into foul, giving a chase. It's going to fall. Yeah, so my apologies to Owen. Like I said, I am woefully, woefully unprepared. Boy. We will do better next week. We got some folks in the danger zone down there. They like to sit down there. They they like it. They like to be up close. There's a strike. Strike two. A lot of baseball action coming up for the Cats. Uh, they're playing Saturday at Williamstown. Next Monday they play at Montpelier. And then Tuesday we're right back here, Tuesday the 30th, for a game against the People's Academy Wolves. That went in the dirt. There's a solid shot up the middle. It gets underneath the second baseman. It's in the center field. McNaughton gets things rolling here for the Cats with a single. 
Brings up Andrew the Mauler Menard. Menard takes that one high. McNaughton down into second, standing up. Cat's known for aggressive base running. Michael, not afraid to steal. I like that. It's fun to watch when they really get it rolling. That went low. No score, one out, bottom of the first here. Your Hazen Union Wildcats, home opener against the Williamstown Blue Devils. Menard takes that one low. 3-0 oh your count, one out. Strike one. Draws the walk. Brings up Jake Davison. <laughs> McNaughton at second. Strike one to Davison. Big cut. Nothing goes. Runners at first and second. Menard courtesy of the walk. McNaughton courtesy of the single and then the steal. One out. Davison looking to make something happen here in the bottom of the first. That one's high. Three and two. Pitch inside. Davidson's going to, or I think maybe that was technically a pass ball, but anyway, it loads up the bases. End result, bases loaded. Dan DeGrosliere up. Base is loaded, one out. Takes ball one, good eye. Ball two. That one's way out. We're going to have a runner score on that one as McNaughton's going to come in and score. Put the Cats up one zip here in the bottom of the first. Runners at second and third. Dan DeGroslier hasn't lifted the bat off his shoulder yet. Count three and oh. Well, 
And that one in the dirt as well, ball four. I was going to say, Dan, a little bit confused on that one. So after getting Scorsa to strike out, McNaughton singled and then three straight walks. And that's going to take the coach out to the mound to have a little chat with his pitcher today. Colby Lagner on the mound. Quick chit chat. Let's see what happens here. Justin Montgomery at the plate now for the Cats. Base is loaded. That one high and behind. Swing, that one's going to be down in the dirt. Count at one and one. That one passes by as well. Menard thinks about coming down. They're going to know where to go for Lagner. Andrew wanted to score on that one, but the catcher. Some quick hands adjusted well back there. Horgo behind the plates for Williamstown. First name Quay, maybe? Q U E. Q? Q Horgo? I'm not sure. Q? Quay? Anyway, made a nice play. There's another walk for Montgomery, and that's going to walk in Menard. Cats up two zip. Jake Hayden up now for the Cats. That went high. There's a strike Lagner's been looking for. Two and two, your count. Still just one out. That one behind. Lagner having some issues out on the mound today. Hayden swinging to make it two outs. Lance, what's the um, class distribution for baseball? 
How do you mean? Seniors, sophomores? Uh, like I said, Michael, I am woefully unprepared. I don't have sophomore, oh. seniors, anything <laughs> like that. I, I, I looked for a roster on the Hazen page. There wasn't one. Um, so I'm going to have – I'll do better. Come Tuesday, we're going to be better. I'm not criticizing. <laughs> no, no, I'm criticizing myself. <laughs> uh Gavin Stratton up now with two outs, bottom of the first. Cats up two zip. Lagner looking to just get out of this inning intact as the bases are still loaded. Two strikeouts, one single, and walks. As we just scored another run. Davison came home on that one. Pass ball. There's a strike. Runners at second and third. Stratton takes strike two. Stratton, rip. Shortstop down. Throw to first. Nice. Got him out. And that'll end the inning with the Cats put three runs on the board to put them up three zip. We'll be back at the start of the second. Do we have a plug I can commandeer for my phone? and back up. Third ball. Oh, no. Strike. Second strike. Third 
là. Pitcher number seven, good catch. Two balls and a strike here, being in the second inning. Third ball. Oh, second strike, sorry. Strike one. All right. There we go.
will attempt this. All right, uh, what do we got? Bottom of the second. Williamstown was basically three up and three down, correct? On the top of the second. Nice. Big rip. That was uh, Landon Miller, one of our Crassbury players. He's going to go to second on that one. to the top of the order with Owen Scorstead now. As I think, maybe. I might have my stuff together here for a little bit. There's a big hit straight out to center field. Outfield, they're not going to be able to close. They're going to drop in. Miller's going to go to third. So we're going to have runners at the corners. Single there by Owen Scorstead. Somebody might, but I'll tell you, it would sting today, Michael. It would sting. <laughs> Grayson McNaughton up. And going into second, standing up is Scorstead. The wind continues to race havoc with my notes over here. McNaughton strikes out. That'll bring up Andrew Menard. Menard had a great inning. He did. Menard walked his last time up in the first, scored on a pass ball. And yeah, Andrew Steller out on the mound today. That one high. Also got a new pitcher out there for uh, Williamstown and Charlie Fitzpatrick. That one high. Parked underneath it. Missed it. Missed it. Lost it in the sun. And the score. Hazen puts another run on the board, four zip. Jake Davison. We're gonna score another one. Oh, maybe. They got him safe. Scores that scores. Five zip. As pitching woes 
befall the Williamstown Blue Devils today here at Hudson Fields. Three and one. Runner at second. Andrew Menard just kind of out there having a good time right now. That one's high. I don't know what the count is. Maybe they haven't cleared it. Nice stop by the catcher. There's a strike. All right, if I'm seeing it right, it's three and two with one out. Cats up five zip, bottom of the second. Davison draws the walk, but runners at first and second with Dan DeGrosier coming up. Runners advance. And Dan draws the walk as well. Base is loaded once again. Justin Montgomery up. Fitzpatrick not faring much better than Lagner did. That one right back here to us. Shot back up, corralled down, got him out, but not before I believe Menard scored. So it's six zip now, bottom of the second with Jake Hayden up. I went down in the dirt. Runners at second and third. I went in for a strike. Two outs, bottom of the second. Cats in control, 6 nothing. Swears down a punt. Doesn't take it. Call strike. One to two on Hayden. Foul tip. Fitzpatrick looking to get out of this inning. 
Wildcats have put up three more. Right to right, right to the gap. Beautiful hit. Davison's going to score. Here comes Dan to girls here and to score. And Hayden's in with a single. So two runs batted in for Jake Hayden. Makes it eight zip. Gavin Stratton at the plates. Takes a strike. That one's low. That one low. Gonna try and pick Hayden off down at first. Jake kinda, kinda almost got caught down there. That was a great play. Great play, almost had him. I don't think she does. That one in for a strike. Two and two. Two outs, bottom of the second. Cats lead eight zip. I went outside. Going down to first again. All right, Fitzpatrick looking to get that third out, third strike, and he's got it. As Gavin Stratton goes down swinging like Sonny Liston. So says Tom Petty in the song Swinging. That'll take us to the top of the third with the Cats up. Eight zip. I will be right back.
All right, top of the third. This is the catcher, whose name I cannot pronounce. I want to say it's Q. Hogra, maybe? Strike three. Quick out from Renard. He's been making quick work of all his innings here. Renard with a rare off pitch on that one. Back to the pitcher, Menard bobbles. Still doesn't bobble. Brody in with a single. Brings back Isaac Sweet to the line, to the uh, yeah, to the line, to the plate. Still in basketball mode. One out, top of the third. Ball one. Sweet. That one's behind us. Menard pitch, sweet swing down in the dirt. Brody's going to go to second. That'll end sweets at bat. Two outs. Brady Knapp at the plate. Nat playing left field for Williamstown. Take strike one. <laughs> one and one, your count. That one in a dirt strike. Two. Struck him out. Menard. On fire from the line today. We are watching Hayes and Union Wildcat baseball home opener today from Hudson Fields here in Hard Vermont on HCTV channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open six to three every day. Breakfast takeout all day. Check out their daily specials and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. 
big thank you to our sponsors. We could not be us without you. So Cats up 8 nothing, going here to the bottom of the third. Just trying to review my notes here a little bit from the previous inning. making quick work of the Blue Devils out there today. Williamstown plays in the Mountain Division, Cats in the Capital B Division in baseball. Cats last season had a great regular season, disappointing postseason. Ended in a quarterfinal loss down in Virgins. Lost uh, some key players from last year. I want to get out. My phone is still operable. Uh, we lost Tyler Rivard, Lyle Rooney, James Montgomery, and Jaden Baker. And Brendan Moody also isn't playing this year for the Wildcats. But we do have the four Craftsbury players out of that new uh, cooperative agreement. And Fenton Meyer returning after a year off studying abroad. So the future's so bright, I think we'll need shades for the Wildcats. Another pitching change for the Blue Devils, Landon Amell. If I'm seeing that right, am I seeing his number right? Or is it Kane Knapp? Is it a three or is it a five? It's a five, I'm sorry, Kane Knapp on the mound for the Blue Devils now. With Landon Miller. Up for the Cats. Miller got a nice single to lead off the second last time. Solid shot back to the shortstop. He's going to get that one down, throw over to first in time. One out. Here in the bottom of the third. Encouraging start for the Blue Devils to this bottom of this third inning. Owen Scorsted back to the top of the order. Scorsted connects. It's going to fall. Player's going to come in. No, can't quite make the catch in the outfield. A little bit of confusion there between left and center. Ball kind of dropped in. Gorsted gets on with a single. Grayson McNaughton, one of the Crassberry players, come down. Scorsted takes off for second. He's in safe.
McNaughton playing shortstop when he's in the field today for the Cats. Score set is at center field, the defense. Currently at second base, though, looking to add to the lead. Pitch behind him. Score set's going to go to third. Get in there standing up. So McNaughton's just got to get his bat on this ball. Can have himself either an RBI, sacrifice fly, whatever. The world is his oyster right now. Count 2-0. and oh. That one's back foul. Two and one. Pitch. In through the infield to the outfield. That's going to easily source, score, score, stead, make it nine zip. And McNaughton in with a single. Brings up Andrew Menard. Nine zip your score. The Mahler hits a rip out there to right, or left field, I mean, excuse me. Left fielder down in front of it, knocks it down. Keeps McNaughton from scoring, but wow. Menard in with a double. Andrew Menard, single-handedly, taking things out on the Blue Devils up there. Davison, Jake Davison. Nine, nothing right now. Bottom of the third. A little bit of a wind picks up. Sunny but chilly out here today. Davidson fouls that one back. Runners at second, third, Davison. Strike two. Still just one out. Hayes and Union Wildcat home opener. Baseball season. Gonna hold the runners up. Third inning, third pitcher for Williamstown. <laughs> Davison, that one in the dirt. Safe at home is McNaughton. Menard advances to third, it's 10 zip.
Davison gets out of the way. Andrew stays put. And Davison struck out. Make it two outs. Dan DeGrosley are up. I'll tell you, New Hazen coach Sean Allen's got to be happy with the way his team's playing today. Up 10 zip. Andrew Menard pitching, hitting. And that's back to the third baseman. Going to go over to first and plenty of time. As Dan is out at first. That brings us to the top of the fourth with the Cats up 10 zip here from Hudson Fields. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV channel 1080 on your cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. We'll give our sponsors a reach. I've missed a couple there, so let's make up for some. Because we could not be us without them. Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast, takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. Top of the fourth. This is Charlie Fitzpatrick up for the Blue Devils. There, get the headset on, right? I'll be doing good. Andrew Menard has been stellar on the mound today. I lost track of one inning, but I can tell you as uh, Fitzpatrick goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, he's got at least six strikeouts that I know of, and I think he's got a couple more. I, I missed one inning there when I was writing down lineup sheets. But uh, Fitzpatrick goes down here. He's been making short work of the Blue Devils today. Wagner up now for the Blue Devils. Uh, 
That one's high. Parking underneath it. Nice catch. I believe that was McNaughton with the catch on that one. And that's going to bring up Landon Amell. to the infield over to first one two three inning one two three inning gonna move us to the bottom of the fourth All right, Knapp stays on the mound here in the bottom of the fourth. Striding to the plates, Elliot Rosendahl. Pitch in, in the dirt. Elliot takes one looking. Ball one. Rosenthal takes one high. Oh and two. Or two and oh, excuse me. Two and oh. Two and oh. Takes one behind him, three and zero. And that one's in for a strike. They called strike. 
three and one. That one's over his head. And Elliott will take first base on a walk. And number eight is Cyrus. I do not have a last name for Cyrus. Uh, Crossbury player. Again, my apologies to everybody. I am woefully, woefully unprepared for this game. Ball in for a strike. By the time this team comes back on Tuesday to play PA, we'll be better. I promise. Cyrus, pitch behind him. Elliott's going to cruise into second. Knapp continues to struggle out on the mound. He had a few moments there in the third, but... Blue Devils pitching just hasn't been there today. Cyrus takes a swing. Elliott's going to go back. He's going to go to third. He's going to take third base. Swing and a strike. And Cyrus will strike out. This brings up Evan Lamar. Or is it Lamar? I think it's Lamar. Evan Lamar. Elliot tries to score from third and they get him out. That'll be two outs. With Evan Lamar at the plate. Bases wide open, two outs. Bottom of the fourth. Gets up 10 zip. Another strike. Hi. Lost track of the count. We've got nothing over on the scoreboard, so. Your guess is as good as mine as to what's going to happen. It's a ball. Three and two, I believe I just saw the uh, umpire put up for. And he struck him out. So, Knapp with some problems early in that inning, but then sort of got things under control and uh, threw some nice pitches there to give the Blue Devils a little glimmer of hope. We move to the top of the fifth. The Cats up 10 zip. Andrew Menard. Has had some nice hits. He's had a double. He's had some fantastic pitching. He's made some nice plays out there. Just about as complete a game as you could expect from Mr. Menard, the mauler. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, we want to thank them. The Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. 
and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtc.lnsc.org, jumpstart your future. Fantastic programs down there at the uh, Tech Center down at Lamoille High School in Hyde Park, Vermont. So, coming up for the Blue Devils here, in the top of the fifth, Kane Knapp. Pitcher just got that third out there in the last inning. Takes a strike. That one in the dirt. 0-2. Strike three. One out here in the top of the fifth. Designated hitter Chase Corvo up for the Blue Devils. Strike takes a mighty swing. Connects with nothing but air. Corvo waving that green bat around down there. Swing again and a miss. 0 and 2. Way well, he's swinging, he connects. It's going to travel. But he's not going to connect, and he's going to go down on three straight pitches swinging. This is Braden Massey, I believe. First name is Braden. Menard. A master on the mound today. Strike one. Dominance. Strike two. The Dominator is what we're going to call this guy. He's just been dominating out there. Strike three, and they're out. And Williamstown goes down five zip. Got to be a great feeling for new coach Sean Hill to get that victory today. Five innings, 10 zip. That's going to end it here from Hudson Fields. Hardwick Vermont, Hayes and Union boys triumphant in their home opener. Once again, they go on the road for the next few games. Uh, they go back to Williamstown on Saturday the 27th. They're going to play MOP here Monday the 29th. We'll be back here next Tuesday the 30th when we play PA. It's almost a, uh, a home and away series here with Williamstown. We'll see what happens on Saturday. Sponsors once again. The Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast, takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTC.LSD. Jumpstart your future. I'm going to jumpstart my car and get in where there's some heat. Lance Hall with the call. All right on camera. Michael on tech. We'll see you guys on Tuesday for what usually is a pretty good game against the People's Academy Wolves. Till next time, live every moment, love every day. Bye-bye.